The pitot static tube consists of two concentric tubes, the central one with an open end pointing upstream of the fluid flow, and the other closed at the end but with small holes drilled at right angles to the direction of flow. The central tube pressure is equal to the static pressure plus the velocity pressure, whereas the outer tube pressure is the static pressure only. If you look properly, the central hole or stagnation pressure hole can disturb the fluid kinetic energy and convert its velocity to zero, so it can calculate static plus dynamic pressure. Whereas static pressure hole cannot disturb fluid velocity, so it measures static pressure only. And by subtracting stagnation pressure with static pressure you will obtain dynamic pressure. This dynamic pressure is very important, because this equation has the velocity of fluid, relative to the position of our pitot static tube. Knowing dynamic pressure you can calculate the velocity. That's how digital manometer work. It just sends the stagnation and static pressure from pitot tube using pressure transducer. And these pressure difference gives dynamic pressure. If you want to visualize dynamic pressure in an analog way, use a YouTube manometer. The difference of both pressures lifts the liquid upwards. The height difference in the liquid level is therefore a measure of the pressure difference and thus of the dynamic pressure or flow velocity. The pitot tube and the U-tube thus form the overall unit for measuring dynamic pressure. Such a probe is also called a parental tube. Now let us derive the formula for calculating the velocity of a moving fluid using the pitot static tube. Consider an incompressible airflow having sufficiently high velocities so that frictional effects between points A and B are negligible. The stagnation pressure at point B can be measured from the pressure tap at point E in the inner tube. Downstream from point B, there are several open holes, D, on the outer tube. With the help of point D, static pressure can be measured from the pressure tap at C. Using these two measured pressures and applying the Bernoulli equation between points A and B, we have pressure at point A is pressure at point C plus the hydrostatic pressure due to height H. Similarly, pressure at point B is pressure at point E plus the hydrostatic pressure created due to same height H. We are neglecting any elevation differences between C and E compared to height H. Now solve the Bernoulli's equation. The velocity at point A is found. 